going to be a get ready with me video. I'm going to be showing you this makeup look. It's the same look from my new Q&A video. I just have a different lip color. I wanted to do a matte lip so that way you could see like two different lip options. So if you want to see what the light pink glossy lip looks with this makeup, I'll link my Q&A down below if you haven't seen it. I also have some pictures I put up on Instagram of that look. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I really love this look because it makes me feel really pretty and romantic and it's perfect for summer nights or dates or any kind of special event and I like it because it looks really complicated I feel like it's like a cut crease with a smoke liner but it's really not that complicated so that's the good part so I hope you guys enjoy I'll list all the products I use down in the description bar I love you and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching Okay, so first I'm gonna prime my eyelids with Soft Ochre Paint Pot for MAC. It's my favorite eye primer, and it's just gonna help your eyeshadow last all day and even out your eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with Birkin Eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a light peachy brown, and I'm gonna use it as my transition color, just putting it back and forth in the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller crease brush and I'm taking Chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the Tamana palette, but I believe she sells it individually as well. It's one of my favorite crease colors. And I'm just applying this right in the crease. You can kind of feel the socket of your eye if you go back and forth with a brush. And this is gonna start building up definition in our look. And then I'm gonna take some of that chocolate color and just pat it on the outer corner of the eye and bring it in a little bit. Once I place the product, I then go in and blend it inwards up into the crease. Now I'm taking smoke from Anastasia and I'm just going to apply this closer to the lash line and in the crease a little bit below where I applied the chocolate color and this is just going to deepen up that look, make it a little bit darker and a little bit more intense. So now I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow. You can use any black you want. This one is from Anastasia and I'm using an angled liner brush to apply it right on the lash line just like you would eyeliner. And then I'm going to wing out the eyeshadow just like I would a winged gel liner. But using an eyeshadow is going to make it look a little bit more smoky and a little bit more effortless. And once I place the product, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and just smudge that eyeshadow and it makes it really just effortless and romantic. I like using an eyeshadow instead of eyeliner because it's a lot easier and if you mess up, it does not look as harsh. So I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye, placing it on the lash line and then winging out that shadow like I would a liner and then smudging it with a pencil brush. So now I'm gonna take some of that soft ochre and just clean up the edges of my eyeshadow because they're a little bit smudgy. And then once I do that, I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm going to apply my favorite lashes and drink some Starbucks, of course. So my favorite lashes are Coco Goddess lashes. I wear these nonstop, they're my favorite. Moving on to the face, I'm going to prime my skin with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation with my Beauty Blender. I am absolutely loving this foundation. I've worn it so much since this tutorial. I love it because it makes your skin look flawless, but it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't look too heavy. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. I like this one better than NW20, it's a little bit more yellow. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath the eyes and then take the excess and apply it like on the bridge of my nose to highlight the face a little bit. If you need a good concealer that doesn't crease and is long wearing, MAC Pro Longwear is amazing.
And I'm gonna set my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna let my face bake a little bit, cook, whatever you wanna call it. And this just locks in everything on your skin so it does not budge. And then after I let it sit for a few minutes, I just brush off all the excess with a fan brush, but you can use any kind of brush that you want. Now to finish the eyes, I'm gonna apply a black coal to the waterline. I'm using Buxom Call Me Waterproof Liner. It's my all-time favorite. Now I'm gonna go back to the Smoke Eyeshadow from Anastasia and smudge it on that lower lash line for more definition, make it more intense. And then I'm also going to go with a bigger crease brush, it's like a pointed crease brush. And I'm going to take some of Birkin, that lighter brown, and go right below the smoke just for a nice gradient look. And then the last thing I'm going to do on the eyes is just apply mascara on the lower lashes. So moving on to contouring, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and my NARS Eda brush. And I'm just going to focus the contour really close to the hairline. I'm not bringing it out too far. I just want a little bit of a contour. And then I'm also gonna contour my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with a small duo fiber brush. This is how I've been contouring a lot lately. And I'm just gonna buff out that bronzer and bring it in a little bit more. I just don't wanna bring it in with a NARS Eda brush because sometimes it can be a little bit dramatic. So using a duo fiber brush looks a lot more natural and buffs out the product a lot better in my opinion. Now I'm going to take this blush from MAC called Prism, and I'm using a bigger duo fiber brush. These are all from Morphe, if you're wondering. I'll link them down below with a coupon code. Then I'm going to go back to my Laura Mercier powder and just bake right underneath that contour. It just helps clean everything up, and it makes it look a lot nicer, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of dance, hang out while it's setting, and then after that, I just buff off all the excess, and we're almost done, you guys. Then for a highlight, I'm using Becca Opal, which is one of my favorite highlighters, and I'm just going to apply this on the cheekbones and the bridge of the nose so my face glows. And then I'm gonna set my face with Motives. I think this is the No More Shine Spray. It's one of my favorites. So for my lips, I'm going to take Spice Lip Liner from MAC, which is a warm, neutral, brown color, and I'm just going to line and fill in my lips. And then for the lip color, I'm gonna use Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. Oh my gosh, if you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with this color. It's a really pretty nude brown. This has become my everyday lip color. I'm so in love with it. So here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please let me know in the comments what kind of video you wanna see next. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.